morning welcome back to Derby Kai on this rather glorious day it's actually the best day I think we've had all week uh, it was a little bit of rain last night but at the moment lovely and dry so uh, I need to get on with my maintenance and uh, other bits and pieces I said I'm going to do I was going to do this yesterday um, but I got distracted uh, if you haven't seen it look at my previous video and it'll show exactly why I got distracted and uh, what's in them in the pond so yeah, so I've got to get on with this today. Um, new air pump, got to be fitted, purged bottom drain, sort the lilies out, maybe a couple of little bits and pieces. So uh, let me get everything set up and we'll get back with you. Okay, uh, so I've got everything set up. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna clean out my bottom drain, give that a purge. What I'm gonna use is uh, this, my drain cleaner, which is connected to my pressure washer. Uh, what I've done, I've turned the flow off to my easy pod. So there's now nothing actually going into the easy pod at the moment and I've turned the pump right the way down as low as it'll go so they're, they're, there is still a, a drawer on the bottom drain um, so when I do clean it out there's actually nothing going back in to the pond it's actually going into my other filter system which has got my um, sieve on it uh, my sieve mesh and my filter floss so that'll catch anything that comes through okay so if you have a look in here uh, which I said in my previous video um, this is my um, inspection port or for my purging what I do is just a rubber cap on this one I take that off and that gives me access to my bottom drain on all the pipe work uh, the water level is probably you know just down here somewhere just uh, below the bottom top of the uh, rubber boot so now actually water's going to come up so uh, yeah let me get this off and we'll uh, get the pipe down and get it flushed out That's why one of the reasons I want to purge it out is all the uh, fly larvae and stuff in there. And if you look down there, you can actually see the level of my water. It's actually now taking it off. It's actually come up a little bit. It's about here, um, and you can actually see all the, you know, the, you know, the uh, bits and pieces in there. That's why I want to give it a clean out. So let's get the pipe down. I may lose some water coming out of the pipe because I'm actually putting extra, extra pressure in there. Um, but we'll uh, see how it goes. Okay guys, I'll set the pipe down and uh, until it stops and slowly pull it back and then uh, we'll see what we get out of it. Okay, that's stopped now, so I'm going to slowly pull it back. That's it. Okay, we're going to have a look what's uh, coming out of the filter. Okay, let's have a look at this. As you can see, it's uh, caught quite a bit of stuff. So let me get it out and I'll clean it out. As you can see, it's actually full of stuff in the bottom drain. Let's go over here. Okay, let's have a look what let's have a look what we've got in here. There you go. Ugh. There you go. That's uh, been perched to the bottom drain. And it doesn't smell the best. <laughs> so let me give this a clear out and we'll get it back on and flush it again. Okay, and uh, this is the filter floss. And that's what the floss has caught. Look at that. All poo and uh, oh God knows what. So I'll clean this out, use this one again, 
and when I finish it all I will change them for all new ones this is just to help catch it and clean it out so if I hadn't got this on all this would have gone back into the pond okay um, all that's purged out now I've given this top box a thought of clean uh, I threw the filter floss away the old filter floss of uh, clean with jack matting in pond water I'm so surprised how much uh, rubbish actually came out of that bottom drain uh, but I've got my inspection pipe I'm so glad I've got that in there uh, for the bottom drain and now I've got my um, drain cleaning hose for the pressure washer I'm going to do that minimum three times a year maybe even four uh, do that on a regular basis because um, I'm so surprised how much uh, stagnant stuff was in there um, but doing it three or four times a year will stop all that build up and it won't be anywhere near as bad so I'm going to get this filter flight this uh, jet map back in put fresh filter gloss in and get the pump back on uh, and I'll check that again in about an hour or so because it's uh, some of it has probably gone back into the pond a little bit um, so it's going to help filter that out within an hour that'll all be out there's the first sheet, I do put at least four sheets in and uh, clean them out on a daily basis and I rotate them and replace the top one I'll put that at the bottom, the new one at the bottom and work my way up and rotate them around that way every couple of days so they're all getting nice fresh pieces so at the moment I'm just going to put the three in and I'll clean it later then I'll put the, the new one, the last new one in on the top I'll clean them all again and put another new one on top Okay guys, uh, let me have a tidy up, that's one job done, filters all done, bottom drains cleared out. Let me get, get this pressure washer away, uh, have a bit of a tidy up, on to my next job, uh, lilies. Get the lilies out, give them a trim up, and I'll sort my uh, grids out for the top, hopefully get them on. Jobs are good. Okay guys, uh, I'm going to start on the lilies now, uh, I've got the end cover off. Uh, because uh, it's a little bit murky from cleaning the bottom drain, I'm going to do my... Uh, little sock trick so I want to put it on the uh, one of the skimmer returns and then I'll again clear some of the pond up and get some of the fines out there you go there you go perfect that's gonna help clear some of those out okay guys let's uh, get these baskets out and I'm sure this water is not gonna be the warmest <laughs> so oh yeah, yeah I'm right it's not very really warm I forgot how heavy these baskets are. It's a bit awkward to lift this one out now. There's one. As you can see, it's already dying off, so I'll sort that one out. Imagine this time of year, look, I'm actually getting a new uh, new flower coming up and some new growth on it. So I won't trim that too much yet, but I need sorting for the winter. Okay, let me get my stuff ready to trim these up and I'll see if I can get my uh, sort my grids out for them. I'll be back with you in a bit. Okay, guys, so um, the lilies, I've had these whew, six years at least maybe more that's how these come from my um, previous property uh, in fact these one of the, these actually came from my mom's pond she gave me um, some offshoots for it and I've grown them on so I've had so about six years and it's something I do every year I take them out I trim them down and I uh, store them in a uh, separate tank uh, the one I've got around the back at the moment I've got one around the back it's a uh, food grade so if you are going to use it I actually use it as a if need to as a quarantine tank as well if you are going to use any other type of tank if you're not going to build your own and you're going to buy one you need to make sure it's food grade um, and it has, hasn't contained any chemicals because what can happen is the plastic can absorb uh, chemicals and things like that that can actually stick onto it 
and that leach back into your water. So if you've got fish and plants in there, it's just going to harm your fish and plants. So it's something you definitely don't want. Um, what I am going to do is obviously going to trim these up. Um, I put stones in this year. Um, I started off, there's still a couple left, of that size and what the fish was doing there was rummaging around in it and it was knocking these into the pond. So I replaced them and covered them in these larger ones. But even that, they are still rummaging around in there and disturbing them. So what I'm going to do, I bought some uh, mesh here. I'm going to trim them down and then I'm going to stick the mesh over the top uh, so the lilies can still grow through it um, but it's going to stop the fish actually going in there and it is a soft mesh as you can see it's quite pliable nice and thin uh, so it's not going to hurt the fish in any way uh, so I'm going to get on with that I'm going to trim these down just the uh, any new growth that's coming through I'll leave on but these are all starting to die off now so let's trim them back Um, I am going to leave the stones in there as well. Um, that's just going to help weigh them down. As you can see, that one's done. And it has got some uh, new shoots coming up ready because this is still quite warm. Um, so, yeah, that's one done. I'm going to trim the other one up. This one, it's this one, I think, um, is actually an offshoot from that one. I mean, I, every, every so often I re. Uh, I'll take them out of the baskets and uh, repot them up. It's getting quite big, so I uh, trimmed it in half and put it in here. Uh, well, less, probably less than half. Uh, probably about three quarters and a quarter of it in here. Um, so this is fairly new, this one. Uh, I think this is probably last year, but it was an offshoot from that. But again, this has been growing absolutely fantastic. Um, in fact, there's quite a lot of new growth on this, but it won't hurt it to trim it back this time of year. Again, any new shoots I will leave on. Just take all the old ones off. I think personally by doing this, I think next year, it just encourages the new growth, gives the uh, new growth a chance to come through. Not when you prune any uh, a bush in your garden or a shrub. If it will actually, if you prune it back, uh, most times it encourages new growth from to come on. So I'm going to leave these new ones on. They will get pushed down in the thing, but they'll find their way through. Um, so, yep. Yeah. There you go. Uh, more, than, more than happy with that. So. I've now got to sort out my mesh for the top. I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay guys, here's the baskets done. The mesh is on. All I've done, is, uh, as you can see, I've cut the mesh to size and uh, you've cabled it, tied it on all the way around, three each side. Um, but what I've done, when I put the cable ties on, I've made sure any sharp edges are pushed down so if the uh, fish rub up against the top of it there's actually no sharp edges from the cable ties at all and if you can zoom in a little bit closer as you can see the cable ties are actually down so they don't get hurt on it and that's the same on both of them so all the way around there's no sharp edges and uh, as you can see there is a still got a bit of growth on new growth coming on it which is actually poking through that one and a little bit on that one so it'll still get through not a problem i have left the rocks in to help weigh it down because as the fish get bigger i'll run them bumping into the baskets and uh, move them around so that will uh, weigh the baskets down a bit so yeah another job done jobs are good okay guys that's the uh, lily baskets done uh, next job air pump um if you're saying and i was it the previous not the previous video the one before I showed you more on the pump, so if you want to know more about this pump, uh, have a look at, check that one out. Um, so, and the reasons why I'm changing it, tells you all in that one. Uh, I'll film what I can in here, it is a bit tight in the filter house, um, so bear with me. I'll uh, get the pump ready and we'll get it started. Okay guys, this is the uh, pump I'm going to change, that's the one I've got, it's the Evolution Aqua uh, 70 litre a minute pump. 
and I'm changing it to the 45 uh, litre a minute pump. This one is a 25 watt, the uh, 70 litre one is a 75 watt, so it's a saving of uh, 50 watts of power. Uh, as I said, the reason I'm changing this one is I'm, um, I have got a, a regulator, you'll see it, is it there, which is uh, regulating the air into the pond and uh, most of it is gassed off outside so it's just going to save me gas in so much off and save me some power uh, i am going to try to see if it will run and the to bowl the easier part i don't think it's going to do it to be honest uh, i don't think it's enough uh, somebody did leave a comment to say that um, according to evolution aqua uh, it needs the 70 liter a minute pump which is, they're probably right and i think it will so i'm going to keep that one connected and only use that um, when i clean the easy pot so this one is just basically uh, so can have air into the pond so let me get it unboxed and I'll turn this other pump off and we'll get it swapped over okay guys I've uh, connected the air pump up it's not pretty at the moment there it is it's not where I want it unfortunately this power lead it's about a meter a meter and a half nowhere near long enough where I need it at the moment so um, and unfortunately I haven't got any other pipe so I've just stuck this piece of uh, 10 more pipe on uh, for now which is doing the job ultra quiet very happy with that I will tidy this up in a bit um, as you can see if I come down here the pipe at the moment is just around there so I'm going to tidy that up a little bit but um, I've just switched it on I haven't looked how much is coming out so what it was set at with my other pump let's have a look what air is coming out of here if we can see and get down low enough oh yeah more than enough I'm more than happy with that coming out if you can see that I can tilt you up a little bit. There you go. More than happy with that. So, um, in fact, that might be a little bit higher than normal. So, I can always turn that down some more. But more than happy that's coming out at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it up to its maximum and uh, see how much air it costs to put treatments in and stuff. I need to add more air into the pond. Um, so, bear with me. If I'm in the right way or not. Turn the regulator the other way. There you go. Right, that's at its maximum. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's a torrent. That's more than enough. I would never, very rare, I'd have to put that much air into it unless I'm doing a major treatment. So, I'm very happy with that. Uh, next thing to test, which I haven't yet, is will it buy all the easy pod? Okay, so um, more than happy with the air going in the pond. What I'm doing now is I'm going to test the easy pod, um, see if it will boil it up. To be honest, I'm not expecting it to, uh, but the box does say it's 40% higher pressure than a normal pump, so I may be lucky, we'll see. Um, so we'll stick it in and it will be seen for the first time, just as I will. Uh, pipes in it will take a little bit longer to fill up because I have lowered the flow rate down for the winter uh, give me a second it'll get there that's low enough and I am expecting a bit of dirt to come out of this because uh, as you know I've just uh, purged the bottom drain which will take a while to filter out any rubbish that's gone back in Okay, so that's not running all the way, yep, there it goes, is it going to boil? Oh wow, I'm more than happy with that, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, so I don't need the 70 litre pump on this at the moment, that's, that's boiling away lovely. Um, oh, I'm surprised at that. That four percent extra pressure uh, seems to be doing the job, so I highly recommend that. <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. One pump on. Um, as I said, it's not where I want it at the moment, but next year I'm going to change things around anyway, so it'll all be changed again. Uh, but yeah, that wow. Well. Um, I can't believe how well, that, well that's doing actually. More than happy with that. Fantastic. Jobs are good. Okay, so uh, 
it's getting quite late now I've done uh, quite a bit today um, so yeah pumps done more than happy with that I can't believe that it actually boiled the easy pod um, like it is that's absolutely fantastic uh, so I've done what I've done today um, purge the bottom drain give that a, a good clean out amazed how much stuff come out of that so I will say if you have got a bottom drain I would highly recommend cleaning that on the regular basis now I've got my new uh, drain cleaning pipe for my jet wash I'm going to do that three or four times a year just to stop any sediment getting in there I can't believe how much build up is in there and all the from the fly larvae and stuff like that so I'm definitely going to do that on a regular basis so more than happy that's done um, done the pump change that over and again super happy with the pump um, and how much it's working and it actually boils the easy pod I can't actually believe uh, done the lily baskets got those out trimmed them up put new mesh on all I've got to do with them now I've got to take them round and I'll put them in my quarantine tank I'll keep them in there over the winter so that's them uh, another job done I have got a lot more jobs to do um, but as I said it's getting late now so I'm going to have to do this you know, as a two-parter do it as another video um, so for now a uh, big thank you to all those subscribed if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button ring a little bell and I'll stay safe and I'll see you in part two.